good day, dear students at home. My name is Adebito Oluwa Yomi Dayo. Today's literature in English lesson is going to be on non-African drama, that is Othello by William Shakespeare. One unique thing about today's les uh, text is the fact that it usually comes in WAEC as contest questions, that is in form of objectives, and precisely 20 good questions are set on it. Now, this very text requires an in-depth study and knowledge of on the part of the candidates. In today's lesson, we are going to do the following. Number one, identify the major events in the play. Number two, identify the major actors and actresses and of course, the minor ones in the course of analysis of the play. Number three, take note of the message messages Shakespeare is passing across to this audience. Number four, examine some past question in a WAEC. Now, we start with the introduction. The play Othello is a tragedy. That is a play dealing with tragic events and having an unhappy ending, especially one concerning the downfall of the main character. Othello is the main character in the play, and it is the weakness he has that leads to his downfall. This weakness in him is jealousy and lack of trust in his wife, Desdemonia, which eventually leads to his killing his wife, Desdemonia, and himself. Now, we start by identifying the major events in Othello. That is the plot summary. The play opens up with a scene in a street in Venice. Iago is lamenting about being undermined by Othello. That is, e. Iago is not made the second in command of Othello. Instead, Michael Cashew is made lieutenant. Othello, the black warrior, who, is, who used to be a slave, is now made a war general in Venice. Iago, in order to get back at Othello for choosing Cassio over him, conspires with Rodrigo, who is interested in Desdemonia, against Othello. Iago is aware that the daughter of Brabanto, a Venetian nobleman, has run off with Othello, the black warrior of the Moors. Desdemonia falls in love with Othello because of his past experiences as a slave, which he uses to share with people. Brembranto is enraged that his daughter eloped with Othello. He reports the matter to an assembly of Venetian leaders, that is the council chambers. Othello and Desdemonia wins their appeal, and Desdemonia is to stay with Iago until she can come to Cyro and meet Othello there. Rodrigo is upset that Desdemonia and an Othello's union was allowed to stand, but Iago promises him that the relationship will not uh, last. Now, Iago and Cassio are now on guard. Iago tries to make Cassio to be drunk in order to set him up with Desdemonia, but Cassio's intentions are genuine. Eventually, Cassio is drunk and ends up injuring Montano. When Othello gets to know, Cassio is stripped of his rank. This is in line with Iago's schemes, that is, his plans, to make Othello suspect that there is a relationship between Cassio and Desdemonia. Desdemonia tries to plead on behalf of Cassio with her husband. Meanwhile, Iago has already sowed the seed of distrust in Othello against his wife. Desdemonia notices change in her husband. She is careless to have instinctively dropped the handkerchief her husband gives her as a token of love. This gives Emilia the opportunity to pick it up and give it to her husband, uh, Iago. Desdemonia is wrong to have assumed that Othello won't be jealous if he finds out that the handkerchief is missing. When Othello asks about the handkerchief, Desdemonia tells him that she has misplaced it. He, Othello, then tells her the significance of it, that is, it has a uh, magical powers. Desdemonia brings up the case of Cassio. This angers Othello and storms out of his wife's presence in rage. Othello tries to process the information Iago has given about his wife's infidelity. Now, Othello resolves to kill his wife and charges Iago to kill Cassio. Iago finds Rodrigo and murders him, pretending to avenge Cassio. Meanwhile, Othello goes to kill his sleeping wife. Othello tells Emilia that he kills Desdemonia for her infidelity, which Iago showed him. 
Otelio tries to kill Iago, but Iago kills Emilia and flees. They are all caught and arrested, and the guard says Otelio must go to trial for killing his wife. Otelio then kills himself, and Iago is ordered to be executed. Then I'll pause here where we go for a short break. Thank you. Don't go away. You are welcome back to the second segment of today's lesson as we go on to discuss the themes. The themes that can be drawn from the play are number one, the theme of jealousy and envy, number two, the theme of racial discrimination, number three, the theme of gender, number four, the theme of violence. Number one, the theme of jealousy and envy. In this play, jealousy is fueled by lies, but still has devastating effects. Instances are, Iago is envious of Cassio because of the post of lieutenant, that is second in command of Otello. Iago forms an alliance with Roderigo to get back at Otello and Cassio. Roderigo is envious of Otello because he succeeds in winning the art of Desdemonia. The most severe show of the cruel power of jealousy in Otello is the one which works in Otello against Desdemonia and Cassio. Iago is able to convince Otello into suspecting Cassio of making advances at Desdemonia. This works bitterly in Otello so much that he despises Desdemonia, the woman he once dearly loved. He calls her a war and even regrets getting married to her. He asks himself, and I quote, why did I marry? End of quotation. This hatred makes him to kill her by strangling her on their matrimonial bed. The next theme is a theme of racial discrimination. Othello is one of the earliest black heroes in English literature. He has risen to power through his skills and hard work. Despite his rank, he is still judged and mistreated for his race. Desdemonia's father believes that Othello must have used witchcraft to win her daughter over, not that she could genuinely love him. The next team is a team of gender. The men in this play cause most problems because of their jealousy and anger over women and women's sexuality. Both women in the play are murdered by their husbands. Othello never gives Desdemonia benefit of doubt but rather believes Iago's story that she is cheating on him. The last theme is a theme of violence. The play is a tragedy. There are several instances of violence scenes in the play. Cassio is lured into drinking by Iago. He, Cassio, gets drunk and injures Montano, which leads to his losing his post as a lieutenant. Othello strangles his wife while sleeping. Othello tries to kill Iago, but Iago kills Emilia and flees. Iago kills Rodrigo, and lastly, Othello kills himself after he finds out that Desdemonia is innocent after all. Iago is then ordered to be executed. Now, that is about the themes in the play. Now, at this point, I would like to identify some symbolic elements in the play. Number one symbolic element is the handkerchief. The handkerchief is the main symbol throughout the play. For Desdemonia, it symbolizes her husband's love. For Othello, it symbolizes her fidelity. When Othello sees that Cassio has it, he assumes she is not faithful. It also symbolizes Desdemonia's virginity. It is white with red strawberries. So in a way, are losing it is like are losing our innocence to another man. The handkerchief also symbolizes how something very small can lead to major problems. The next symbol is candle. The candle that Othello blows out just before he murders Desdemonia symbolizes him extinguishing our life. And last symbol, animals. Throughout the play, Othello is characterized by many of the other individuals as animalistic. According to Iago, there is something bestial and animalistic about him. He is base and beastly, somehow beneath everyone else in Venice because of his 
North African heritage. The animal imagery permeates the play, often referring to Othello's otherness. I will pause here where we go for a short break. Thank you. Don't go away. You are welcome back to the last segment of today's lesson. This segment, we are going to consider steps in answering contest questions. The following should be noted. Number one, students should have in-depth knowledge of the text. Number two, students are to take note of actors and actresses that comes up in each scene. Number three, students are to take note of major incidences that takes place in each scene. Number four, each contest question always indicates the acts and scenes. So if a student is able to take into account the major events or incidences in each act and scenes, then he or she will, have any, will not have any problem in identifying speakers or occasion in which the speech is made. Number five, however, in the case of jumps, concept of setting contest question. It can be confusing because the options could be tricky in the sense that wrong options will not be included. So if you do not have an in-depth knowledge of what takes place, you won't be able to know or choose the correct answer. Now let's briefly go over this past NECO question for 2018. I quote the first contest question. I know my price. I am what no was a place, but he as, as loving his own pride and purposes, evades them with a bombastic circumstance, horribly stuffed with epithets of war, and in conclusion, non sweet my mediators for sets, says he, I have already chose my officer. End of quotation. This is in Acts 1, scene 1. Now, the speaker of the above statement is Iago. He is speaking with Rodrigo, the person is speaking with Rodrigo. The person who comes in to join in the discussion is a Brabanto, and the scene takes place in a street in a Venice. Now, the expression bombastic circumstance in the extract means boastful discourse. Now, the next contest question. I will, in Cassius lodging, lose this napkin and let him find it. Trifles light as air are to, to the jealous confirmations strong as proofs of holy writ. This may do something. The more already changes with my poison. At three, scene three. Now, the above statement is made by Iago and he is addressing Othello. The expression, trifles light as hair, exemplifies the use of a simile. The scene takes place in the garden of the castle. Another expression from the uh, statement is, the more already changes with poison, is an evidence of deliberate gallantry. That is, Iago is boasting that his plans to manipulate Othello is a working. Another quotation, reputation, reputation, reputation. Oh, I have lost my reputation. I have lost the immortal part of myself. And what remains is bestial. My reputation, here I go, my reputation. End of quotation. This takes place in Act 2, Scene 3. Cassio speaks to Iago about the pain of losing his reputation. By this time, he has just engaged in a fight with Rodrigo, leading to his loss of his position as Othello's lieutenant. He engages in fight with Rodrigo because Iago tricks him into drinking more alcohol. This makes him unstable and unruly. The above speech also reveals Cassio as a man with values. He deems it a great thing for one to lose his or her reputation. Now, this is where we are going to draw our cutting for today's lesson. Now, for further studies, you can Google https double colon slash www.sparknotes.com 
www.ngbc.com. Thank you.